All right, everybody, how you doing? This is Echo Craft. Um, got some great news. I know a lot of people have been actually sharing this on the web uh, and on YouTube a lot sooner than me. Um, but uh, I know I, I just did a recent video about the uh, new Korg modules that just came out, the OP6, the Mod Wave, and the Wave State module. Now... I just found out that they're doing this chaos pad that you build of the NTS series. So without further ado, let's check it out. All right, here we go. Let's check this video out. I'm really excited about this because I love the NTS, uh, synthesizer that I have, the little one that I built. Um, and it's actually really cool, but this one is really cool. So I love chaos pads. I had them in the past. Um, and this one I get to build, which is fun. And I love, I love stuff like that. So here we go. Yeah, that's very cool. I can't wait to check this out. Um, I'm blown away by it, actually. Uh, I can't wait to... You know, i actually probably going to buy one. I know. It's gas. What can I say? Um, but the other thing, I mean, NAM is, you know, this week. It's, uh, it's I believe, starts, what, uh, Thursday? So I used to go to NAM. Um, I'd love to go this year. I can't, unfortunately. I, I said that in the last video. But I will... Be returning to NAM hopefully uh, next year, or maybe even if they have the one in Nashville, I'd like to go to that one. That one's not as big. Um, the NAM show uh, in Anaheim is huge, and I love the fact that they're getting back to the schedule that they were on. Uh, COVID kind of put a damper on a lot of that stuff. Um, but yeah, so I'm pretty psyched about it. Uh, NAM is great, great place to meet people, great place to see a lot of the YouTubers that are out there that are doing the stuff. Uh, so yeah, let's check it out. Uh, the next thing I want to look at here is uh, this guy. Uh, where is it? It's this one. Uh, so let's check this one out. Very cool. It's got a uh, color screen now, which I thought was kind of nice. I actually own the first one first generation uh, but you know this is the second gen micro port uh, sounds pretty cool I don't think they really mess with the engine too much it looks nice it's a great synthesizer it's got a bolt quarter built into it and what more can you ask for right so yeah so again I had one of these and I really like it um, but I, I sold it, um, to buy something else, but I don't know. This one looks really cool. It's got a bunch of new effects in it. Um, and, uh, the vocoder is supposed to be a lot better than the first one. The first one was okay. Um, I'm a big vocoder fan. I've got a couple of different vocoders. I've also have some vocoder software, but, uh, yeah, this looks actually pretty cool. Um, so yeah, so you know, they've, they've unleashed a lot of things, a lot of things. Um, and uh, what else did they do? Oh, they did the, uh, the NTS. Uh, oh, yeah, they did this one, too. Sorry, I'm jumping around all over the place here. Hey, there's the Synth Samurai right there. He's a great guy. Um, but, yeah, so um, they are releasing this, too. This is kind of interesting to me. Uh, I have no for something like this in my studio uh, or need for it it does have its own speaker in it so you can't jam along with it it's got drum patterns built into it um, it looks like you can program it uh, change different beats and stuff to go along with what you're doing it's battery operated as you can see um, 
And uh, yeah, it seems pretty cool. I mean, Korg is like unleashing the beast right now. You know what I mean? Crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, yeah, so I mean, you know, that's one thing. But then I want to see, oh, I forgot about the King Korg. Yeah, here we go. I forgot about that guy. Um, <laughs> so let's see. Uh, let's go to this one. Let's check this out. So this is the King Korg Neo. It's kind of cool. Again, it looks really nice. I don't really need something like this in my studio. It does have a whole corner, Hi, as Luke you can see. Here, and today I'm showing you the King I, Korg I love Neo. Luke. This I've is our Luke analog Nam, modeling really synth nice guy. with vocoder built in as well. I love so his let's demos. dive in and have a listen to some of the sounds. So it's dead easy to select your sounds from these categories here. Um, I can yeah, press any of these and Korg's straight into those categories. Stuff, I'm not so say for instance, thing, I wanted to go uh, into the bass the category. Idea. I'm straight in and then I can use this knob. Um, oh, this is the NTS-1 Mark II. I have the NTS-1, but uh, this is the Mark II. Hi, everyone. Today, I'm excited to share the new this tech really NTS-1 cool. Mark II by Korg. This lovely pocket-sized synthesizer, effects processor, and sequencer comes as a kit, making it a fun, fast, and simple DIY project for music lovers. Cool. The uh, NTS-1 Mark II cool. features a capacitive touch keyboard and a classic piano-style right. layout. This is a bunch of wires connected to it right now, but uh, I do use it. Um, but yeah, again, if you want to adjust the octave of the keyboard, simply out. hold the oscillator button and move your fingers across the white keys. Very cool. They improved on the engine. Uh, they improved also on the um, uh, the effects that are on there because the, the effects are great. I've run uh, other synthesizers through the effects on that unit, which are pretty cool. Um, and I did mention the NTS uh, One Mark Two and the NTS uh, Chaos Pad, which is pretty cool. Um, and what else? This is the Korg, uh, it's called the, the PS, maybe not, P, there it is, PS3100. Um, interesting, actually, uh, that they released it with. Apparently, this was an older synth. It looks a lot like an MS20. Uh, there's some patch points there, as you can see. Uh, but it's polyphonic, which the MS-20 is not. Uh, so this is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm not going to want the uh, YouTube police after me right here. Um, also, uh, what was really nice, too, I just found out that there was a uh, new release of, um, I believe this is it right here. I own pigments and I think it's great. It's an MP. Synth is well, so you can use it like that. Expressive community. Osmos, so you can use it with that. I really do like uh, Victoria stuff. I own a bunch of their products. So they are coming out with something cool. And I, I actually have to download this. It is a free upgrade for those of us who own it. Maybe it's not on this page, but I did see that announcement. They just showed the shell. They didn't show anything like major, like, um, you know, with keys or anything, but they showed the basic shell uh, all painted up and stuff, which was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, Nam is on its way. It's going to happen. And there's all this new stuff is going to be out. And, you know, I love new stuff. Um, I love, I guess there's a bunch of new pedals coming out as well. Anyway, so yeah, so... You should definitely check out uh, the new stuff that's coming out at NAMM and this stuff that's being announced constantly. Uh, I'm going to try to stay up on it. I know uh, Synth Samurai, he's up on it uh, big time. Uh, I'm going to try to stay stay up on it. I know that there's a lot of other guys out there. You've got Lou Pop, you've got Bo Beats, you've got, jeez, uh, everybody. I mean, it's crazy. Uh Oh yeah, this thing here, this uh, this little guy right what here. What is going on today, chums? I'm coming to you live from NAM 2024, and today we have a leak, a single one. 
buying a car npc key 37. 61 is a standalone production synth know, keyboard with semi-weighted keys with monophonic MVC. aftertouch 16 rgb pads with polyphonic and aftertouch did, gamers 25 instrument plugins over 100 effects a seven inch touch screen so basically it's an all-in-one sort of unit you don't need a computer to use this but you could use it with a computer also the amount of ram is a little bit Pretty low sick, so obviously that'd be something to hope for I'm not a big MPC fan. I know a lot of people out there use their stuff. Um, but I mean, you know, uh, but again, I was very unprepared this evening. I uh, sorry about that. Um, I'm just getting used to this new setup too. So, you know, bear with me, but, uh, yeah, I'm having fun. That's all that matters is that we have fun. Um, and, uh, you know, what I always say, stay creative and, uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one.